And for our final video in this uh, section looking at the fundamental skills that go into making a controlled and confident brass sound, we're going to be applying them on the trumpet. We're going to go through the first five notes that you're likely to learn and maybe do a demo of one or two songs from Accent on Achievement so you can hear how it's going to sound on the trumpet itself. The very first notes that you're likely to learn when you pick up your instrument, don't press anything down and buzz into it, are one of these. The lower one there is called C. Relaxed lips, gentle airflow should get you the note C. If you tense your lips up, faster airflow, you'll probably get the note G. It is possible to play even higher than that, and if, if by chance you're really good at high notes naturally, uh, you might get one of the notes that come even higher than that. There's a whole lot more. We're not going to worry about them at the moment. Our goal is to get a nice relaxed C and the G sounding higher. And this may take two or three weeks to get working really well, but that's okay. We're not in a rush with music. It is a slow, not painstaking, it is a slow but rewarding pursuit, learning a musical instrument. The next notes that we need to learn for trumpet uh, are going to move up in alphabetical order. So C was our lowest note. The next note we want, not surprisingly, is called D. So the fingering, first valve and third valve, and the name of it is D. It should sound higher than your C. If your lips are too relaxed, you may find that your D note falls off and ends up sounding really low instead. We do not want that low sound. That's called low G. You don't need to know that note yet. We want to be moving upwards in steps. And this is where the listening comes in really handy. If you can hear that it sounds lower, you need to tense up those lips and keep fast air moving. Now we add on the next note from, from D, we're going to add on second valve and release this finger here. Ideally, our little finger is going to sit up on that ring there the whole time to keep it roughly in line with the other fingers, thereby reducing strain on this joint. And one and two go down, third finger stays touching the valve, and that's the fingering for E. E sounds higher than D. Next note, let go of second valve. We have first valve only. That is the note F. gives us five in total because we already know that G, being the next letter in the alphabet, is also open valves, which is our way of saying don't press anything down. So I can go all the way from C, C, D, E, F, G, hopefully getting each note to sound higher than the one before it, starting off relaxed. listening carefully, I noticed that the tonguing on my G wasn't very clear. So I'm going to focus on articulating it clearly with a nice clear T and getting my lip tension nice and high so that the note comes out high enough. And that gives us the first five notes that we need. You can play a number of songs with those five notes. Uh, in the first week of having your instrument, we might try this one. Using E, C and G. But that's pretty challenging. That's requiring us to get all the way from the C up to the G and control our embouchure, our lip tension. Um, we will definitely be doing Eau Claire de la Lune from Accent on Achievement, which will sound a bit like this. Using the notes C, D and E. 
So, if you can do what I just did any time in the first few weeks of learning your instrument, you are doing really well. But I expect you to, because you will be practicing six days a week, anywhere from five minutes upwards after that first week when your lips are still feeling tingly, and memorizing notes and getting used to pitching them accurately. Good luck.